Let's take a turn to the forecast now. We're waiting on changes in store today. Obviously, it was very quiet and cool and sunny, but things are going to change. Yeah, and ice. I hate that. I oh, hate when we hear ice the in the forecast. You know what's interesting about today, guys? The Almanac, the average high is 52. The average low is 32. We were 53 and 32. This was about exactly a normal day, as you could expect for January 4th. Tomorrow will actually be a little bit cooler, and this is the issue. Temperatures in the 40s. This is kind of laying the groundwork for the ice on Saturday morning, but notice the winds out of the southeast. So there's a couple of key things coming together here for why this is going to be ice and then rain pretty quickly. Now, light freezing rain could start as soon as I would say 4 in the morning, but 5 a.m. probably more likely to 11 a.m. Moderate impacts for the foothills. We'll show you that and highlight that in a second. Changes to all rain midday for everybody, even in the foothills and mountains. So this will be a quick moving system. If you want to avoid any ice at all, just wait till lunchtime and it'll be gone. Limited to no travel issues around Charlotte. But again, we will be completely dry by the evening. Why are we going to see ice or rain? Got this warm layer aloft. We don't have a snow setup. So if your computer was telling you snow today or an app, I don't know, it's out the lunch. It's completely wrong. We just have this warm air that's going to create either freezing rain, could be some sleet at the start, or just rain in most of the area. Now, let me show you hour by hour. We'll put the temperatures on here as well. The surface temperature is key here. That's when you're going to have some ice develop. So the moisture moves in. Many temperatures above freezing likely drops to or very close to freezing in all these areas north and west of Charlotte. Interstate 40 corridor, a typical spot where the cold air holds on the longest. That ice, 6 o'clock in the morning. Kind of persists through 8 o'clock. We go to about 11. All of a sudden, the rain starts to win out and the temperatures get back above freezing. So with no continuous source of cold air to keep replenishing it, it's going to get used up pretty quickly and the warm air is going to win out. The rain's actually going to develop and kind of push it out of here. And then we dry out by the middle of the afternoon. So we get completely dry. And then on the backside, some northwest flow snow. So probably the best chance of snow will be on the backside going into Sunday morning as the cold air wraps around. Here's the ice potential again, maybe a tenth of an inch. Not expecting any tree or power line issues. Could rule out an isolated one here, especially in the eastern facing slopes. This is mainly going to be a travel issue short, a short period of time in the morning on bridges and overpasses in the morning. So think about elevated roadways, your front step, a deck, that kind of thing could get a little slick. Here's the overall timing. You see Boone could start as snow or sleet, transition to ice, and then even there, rain. Hickory, probably the longest period of ice will be in the foothills, the Unifor region. By mid-morning, I think it changes back to rain, if, if not, probably closer to noon. Gastonia and Charlotte, I do think we could see a brief period of ice before rain and then areas like Monroe to, to, to Rock Hill. I think it's all rain and then notice most of this comes to an end by three, four o'clock in the afternoon. But then there's a larger system we got to keep an eye on for Tuesday. This is all rain on Tuesday, so no winter threat. But the concern is this is such a powerful low pressure system. We could see damaging winds with a line of showers and maybe thunderstorms late Tuesday. And then on the backside, we get another blast of snow from the mountains. I want to show you some of the wind speeds for Tuesday because it's a good idea to, to kind of prepare right now. This is such a strong low pressure system that the low level jet stream comes in here. And yes, this really could happen. We could see 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts with heavy rain on Tuesday. That would mean power outages and tree issues. So it feels like a strong spring storm system but it's heading our way on Tuesday, so something to keep an eye on. It does calm down for the middle of the week. This is such a strong low pressure system next week that we have one dip in the pressure that will cause some aches and pains, but that Tuesday system, that is really gonna plummet the low pressure down, so we could see the aches and pains go way up, so just a heads up if you suffer from some of that. So we'll show you the seven day first. This is our guy roofing seven day forecast. We've got the little icy mix on Saturday morning, then rain. Big system on Tuesday. Stay tuned. There could be some significant updates to that. And then another system at the end of next week that could bring us more rain going into the weekend. We'll be right back.